Neighbors is back. My oath. I like to think it's because of the video I made earlier this year that convinced Channel 10 just how important Neighbors is. Yeah, so, now that Neighbors is back, who's returning? Well, as of this video, the four cast members to confirm to return are Stefan Dennis, Alan Fletcher, Ryan Maloney, and Jackie Woodburn. And that's great, because I can't really imagine Ramsey Street without those four. But what about the other characters? Who's returning? Well, here's a list of neighbors characters I think should return, and the characters I think shouldn't return. Topping the list of should return, Rebecca, and I hope I pronounce this correctly, El Mal Girl. A recurring theme on this list would be the happy endings the characters had in the finale. And Paul and Therese topped that list of happy endings because going into the finale, their separation and if they'd get back together was a major storyline. And them eventually getting back together was a major part of the finale. So why ruin that happy ending by having all that, but no Teresa. So, she, she so, Rebecca, you, if you're watching this, and I hope you are, I'd like to consider you a fan. If you are, you're a fan. <laughs> you should return. Next on that list, Lucinda Cowden. Like I said, the happy endings. And she and, well, not she, Melanie Pearson, the character she played, had that happy ending with Toadie. You know, when they got married and they decided that Ramsey Street was their home. Yeah. So, it would be a shame for her not to return. Like, I just have um, Toadie returning. It won't be all sad because Melanie decided Ramsey Street wasn't her home after all. Yeah. As much as I hate Toadie and Melanie being together, yeah. it's one thing for Data to marry a woman who's old enough to have changed your diapers when you were a baby, but to marry a woman who actually did change your diapers when you were a baby, that's just sick. But still, Melanie Lucinda Cowden, if you're watching this, you're a fan. Yeah, uh, you should return. I like to think you're a fan. Next on this list, is Charlotte Chimes and Gemma Bird Matheson. It's not that their endings were happy, but ambiguous, like, ooh, they're staying in Ramsey Street after all. Ooh, they, their characters, um, Nika and, I forgot her name, but would Nika and she get to become a couple, or would they not? Ooh, well, please let us see find out. So, if you, so, Charlotte or Gemma, if you're watching, you're a fan. You're a fan if you're watching this. I hope, I like to think that I have so many fans. <laughs> yeah. I, please come back. Jo and to top this all off, Georgie Stone. She should definitely come back. Mackenzie's ending was more of a life goes on sort of thing, but when Mackenzie joined Neighbours, I hoped that by the time she left, she would become a wife and a mother. And I was, but I was still satisfied enough with her becoming a wife and a widow. I mean, she could have been the that girl of transgender women. Just because you become a woman now, doesn't mean you have to become a wife and a mother. But still, can't we just see that? I mean, you're the first woman, transgender woman on Australian television. On Australian television. Well, what I'm trying to say is, well, since Carlotta. Anyway, but please come back, Georgie. Make Mackenzie be a wife and an adoptive mother. Oh, and Georgie, if you're watching this, you're a fan. Please be a fan. 
and the stars who shouldn't. Well, topping off that list is well, April Rose Penfilly. Yeah, why? Well, because she is, her ending was just perfect. She got the woman she loved, and which made Ellie's ending that much more perfect too. I mean, it didn't really make that much sense when Ellie left with Ben Kelly's brother. And yeah, true, she was the father of a baby, but but she got pregnant from a one night stand after she was on the rebound after being ditched at the altar. Yeah. So it so it would be that shame that like eight um not April Chloe returned. Yeah, without Ellie and don't want to. Yeah. So if April, if you're watching, oh, don't come back. Yeah, you don't have to be a fan of mine too. Oh, same with you too, Jody Gordon. But hey, Jody, if you're watching, and topping off this, and but not finishing off this list actually, not topping them off. Annie Jones. All because, like I said, her perfect ending came with a character played by Guy Pearce, an uh, Australian actor who's high in demand in Hollywood, so it's unlikely she'll return, or he'll return. So why ruin that ending by ha just having a, you know, a plain Jane murder? So she's not really that important, not much that important character. So, Annie, if you're watching, if you're a fan, don't come back. And those are the characters who I think should return and shouldn't return. Hmm. Only just for me. Hmm. Just for me. I'm not, it's not sexist or anything. Yeah. Yeah, so casting directors, if you're watching, bring back those characters I said. Don't bring back the characters I. And don't bring back those characters I said. Oh, and if you need an autistic actor to play an autistic character, 